<clears throat> you would not believe the trials and tribulations I've had to go to to try and make this semi-unboxing video thing happen. This is an iPad. This is a phone. There's a USB light. I tried to use an audio recorder, but the only tiny SD card I had, it would not format it. So, you may notice I'm sweaty, very emotional, but I'm also very emotional because it's the day that AlterQuest has arrived. So, you can't see it, but to my right, at the very bottom of the stack, I have Ruins of Arkinspire and the first four. Then on top of that, I have the main box um, that I haven't opened yet or I haven't pulled everything out of. Despite what is undoubtedly a very angry face, I'm actually quite excited about this. Um, so I'm just gonna start pulling it out. You're not gonna have the best view of it. I've gotta try and remember to put stuff in this area so you can see it. I'll try my best. Um, but basically, if I don't become internet famous from this video, I'm giving up my career of um, trying to become internet famous. Maybe I'll just become successful in other areas of life. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna, okay, this is the, <laughs> it's a uh, That is the stretch goals box. I'll wipe that out of the way in case it's blocking the view. So this, basically it came in two boxes for me. The main big, pretty much cube box, cubular? Cubular. Cubic is probably the word, isn't it? Um, the main one had apparently the stretch goals and it will be the um, core game underneath that. <laughs> okay, that is the stretch goals box. I have no idea if it's even in the shot, but hopefully you'll get the rough gist of the size of that thing. So it looks to me galaxy and then just chonky. Like I reckon if you had the core game and this, it's basically taking up a cube in your Kallax on its own without the extra stuff. So remove. So I think what I might do is drop the stretch goals off to the side and then perhaps do the um, core box first. That seems to make sense to me. Oh. I have just seen something very exciting in the corner of this box here. I don't know if you can see it on that shop, shop on the very wobbly camera. Um, that right there says MDS, Modular Deck System. This is my first physical modular deck system game. Didn't play Brook City in any way, shape or form. Didn't end up going for Street Masters um, when the Aftershock campaign was happening, which is when I first heard about it. Didn't actually back AlterQuest the first time around, um, but I was very much regretting it at the time, I will say that. I was discussing with my nerdy campaign board game friends about whether I should get it, and I think... I can't remember, I think the fact that it had dice at all made me just go, eh, I'll just look into something else, because there, there were a few games that had been up on Kickstarter around the same time. And I just sort of went, okay, I can't back everything. I'll pick the ones that, on the surface, excite me the most. Because I hadn't had a chance to play any of them. So I sort of went with the one that seemed to rely less on dice. Um, and then, it's more, I know it's more of a card game. And it's actually, part of what drew me away from it, I believe, was the fact that it wasn't just a campaign dungeon crawler, and that's where I really wanted it at the time. I wanted a couple of dungeon crawlers in my arsenal. Um, and because it was so modular, you just play scenarios. I was like, uh, how many times will I get it to the table if it's just something where you just mix and match bad guys and good guys and go for it? And then I played Spirit Island, and I thought, okay, now I see that you can do that. And then I played Marvel Champions, and I thought, yeah, it's really quite fun to just pick a scenario and um, in, in Marvel Champions case, deck construct and go for it that way. Whereas this one's going to be a little bit less um, pre-constructing what's happening and obviously more to do with um, 
jumbling up the bad guys in the scenario and the randomness of what's in each room as you play. So, rather than rambling, I'm going to get this bubble wrap off the core game. This is the first big Kickstarter. I've just I recently received Detec Detective City of Angels, um, and that was three boxes. But before this, before that, it's been about six months since I received something that's you know multiple boxes. It's going to give me a hundred hours of. I don't want to be presumptuous, but I'm going to say joy. And it's very pretty as well. I don't know whether the light is going to be too reflective for you. Um, but I actually, I don't know why. I hadn't really seen too much of that pure cover art. I've seen the logo used in various ways with a bit of art around it, but I've not seen that cover art too much. I wonder if it's worth me trying to slide it under this camera here. Um, the answer is... No, it's probably not. <laughs> it's probably worth me just doing that with it. Um, I'd say, let me just check myself. It is probably one and a half. Oh no. Helps if you line both corners up. It's about a centimeter um, less deep than the stretch goals box. But other than that, it appears to be the same proportions. Whew. This is exciting. Do I just start ripping it apart? I've never actually done an unboxing before. I think I just start pulling it apart, do I? This is where someone will say, no, you're supposed to lick it and rub it on your nipples before you open it. That's a true unboxing. But that's not what I'm doing. Also, I was told that unboxings are incredibly long and um, kind of naggy, so that's what I'm going for, if anyone asks. I'm right. genuinely, excited about this. This game is, is gonna hit my table. Because it's... I play the crap out of Marvel Champions, and while obviously it's not the same in a lot of respects, it's got the same modularity and okay, what if we tried this with this? How about we up the difficulty and do this? Um, something you sit and play with and think about when you're not playing it. Um, and the, the, to me, there aren't that many games that you will sit and not obsess over because um, that would be self-deprecating and I'm uh, extremely confident um, but it's the sort of thing where not because of its story but because of its um, mechanics and the crunchiness that you sit and think you wake up and you you're in the middle of eating a piece of toast and you go why haven't I tried Spider-Man with aggression? Would that work? And I'm hoping this is going to be that sort of game where you're just constantly wondering um, maybe I should try this, maybe we should do this next time. Um, obviously it's not quite got the um, construction elements to it, but we shall see. So it's obviously not the best angle for me to rip this off. I wonder whether I can do it sort of under here. You'll be able to get a bit of a glimpse of what happens when this comes off and then I should be able to hold it at an angle where you can see what's happening. So, right, it's got my favourite snack, silica gel, it's good, um, alright, I think it might be best if I do something like this with the opened box and then don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. Um, actually, I don't know whether many companies do this, I know Renegade seem to do this, sort of cross promote their own games on their boxes and inside their boxes. Ruins of Ark Inspire on one side. Hour of Need, which I've also backed, which is obviously slightly more abstract than superhero y. Um, Buddy Cup, which I think is a. Is that a deck builder? I, think it, I know it's just a card game um, based on Brook City, or based in the universe of Brook City anyway. And then Street Masters. Never heard of it. Um, all right, so, our uh, rule book. What do people normally do with rule books? Do they skim through them? I mean, you're just watching a man flip pages. Who's, who's that for? Perhaps I'll dump the box and then we can have a quick look at the inside of the rule book. Oh, we can actually sort of see. That's a good camera angle. Um, 
Cool. So if I do that there, we can have a good-ish view of uh, the explanations of everything. I do love a rule book that's got some art through it and not just art that shows you the game, but art that sort of, I don't wonder whether this is the exact same piece. No, it's not, his hands in a different position and things. Um, yeah, where the, where the book itself fits in the world. And this one seems to do a little bit of that. And one thing I haven't got, which is kind of a bummer, is the uh, neoprene mat, because I late back to this as part of the miniatures, fantasy miniatures one, or whichever way around those words go, um, Kickstarter. So I don't have the neoprene mat, which when the shop opens, when the shop opens, Scotty, that is where I will get my neoprene mat. Um, I mean, this is just a man going through a book. Is that content? Are you content? Oh, there we go. There's a nice little bit of art of, um, what's his name? Is it, Bur is it Burry or Burry? I don't actually know which way around it is. It's definitely not Berry. There's no way it's Berry, like the town near Manchester. All right then, that's that, I suppose, for that manual. Um, so the story guide, I'm gonna open the first page and what I might say to you is as I open it, let me spoil the first page for myself and you can look away for a second if you like. Um, so I'm opening it now, hide. Okay, so there's some story intro stuff and there's chapters with full blown, you know, paragraphs of story and there are little things that say, hey, do set up and do it differently in this way. And there are specific gain this item as part of the story. And then uh, there are parts of it where it says, if you've written this in your journal, then go here. If you haven't written this in your journal, do this instead. Uh, keyword stuff, which is something in... Um, The boat game. See, this is why I don't try and remember things on camera. So we've got some um, campaign upkeep between chapters and some nice art in here as well, which is always good. Um, I'm just going to scroll through. People probably know how many chapters this is. What I can't remember is whether the... Oh, wow, nice big piece of art. Perhaps I don't want to show you this. It's, I don't imagine it's spoilery, but potentially. So I'm not going to show you that page. <laughs> Um, I wonder whether there's expansion stuff in Ark Inspire that I can't remember. Uh, so when I say expansion, sorry, campaign stuff in Ark Inspire. Um, so I've now got a... Okay, there's, so there's a bunch of the sort of story reference appendix stuff at the back. So there are six chapters to the campaign in the main box. And I'm, I'm going to have a look at Ark Inspire and decide whether... There's also some story stuff in there. Oh. There are our tokens. Um, relatively standard circle punch board stuff. Um, supplies, I think. And then that is the fail forward mechanic that I can't remember the name of in this game. Stamina, maybe? Don't think it's that. Focus. It might be focus. I might go on to a winner there. And next is the board. So this is where it's going to be really hard for me to show you stuff. I'm probably only going to be able to show you half the board at any given time, unfortunately. Um, leave the manuals there. Alright, here I go. So, perhaps it's best if I do a bit of... Oh god, there are two more segments. Uh, I'm lost. In the dungeon. Oh, that's nice. I get to see it. You don't. Okay. Okay. This is where I accidentally rip the whole thing and just cry for hours. So I don't know how much of that you can see. So I'll just move it sideways, um, and then I'll chuck it on the table in front of me. It's genuinely not going to fit on this area of table. So I reckon you can see a fair chunk of it there. You can see about a third of the play mat there. Um, 
and it seems to want to sit very flat, which is nice. Um, I always worry with a fold-out board like this, where it's, whether it's going to end up with um, kinks in it and not be great eventually, but this seems like it's really nicely cut and quite strong at the joints, so until the neoprene arrives, this will do the job, I guess. And the next part, I've just seen what's coming out of the box next, so I'm going to have to put it in front of the camera and try my best. Let me put that there. This is so cool. just scroll that past the camera so you can see what's in there and then I'll lift it up so you can see how it's all laid out flip the box around so you can see this other side so there is all our cards dice at the end in the bag there they're the, yeah, they're the attack dice and they are the what's it called magic winds or something I don't remember what that's called um, alright now I'll lift up the whole thing and not destroy it you hear me you are not going to be destroyed by this effort. <laughs> all right, I don't know how much you can see, but we've got all the minis really nicely tucked away, actually. And I'm thinking, when they are painted, because they've all got those really nicely individual parts in the insert, they'll go straight back in there. Like obviously, I'll put some varnish on them so they're. They can freely rub up against things. But how about I grab, what's his name? Bulks, is that how you pronounce his name? It's not Blocks, I think it's Bulks. I'm gonna pull Froggy Boy Bulks. He is the Frox villain from memory. So hopefully that will focus. Oh, it's very confusing. Let's see if I can focus on that. Doesn't seem to want to do a great job of focusing, but hopefully you can see it's got quite a lot of nice detail on there. So even his armor, I really don't know whether you can see this bit or not, his shoulder plate has scratches in it and that's, you know, that's not a mold thing. That is part of the design, you can guarantee it. Um, so yeah, a bit, bit of character in him. A bit of character in all of it, I reckon. Um, some of them are in pretty cool poses. If I grab a couple of baddies. How much of that can you see? It's probably very wobbly. It's probably really failing to focus as well. I wonder if I chuck it up to this camera, you'll be able to see it. So this dude here is with his little blow darts. I'm gonna pull out one more thing that grabs my eye because I don't really know why, but I feel like painting this is gonna be a lot of fun and really satisfying. I don't, couldn't really tell you why. That's wobbling, give it a second. Hopefully that's focusing. It's really hard to tell from this angle. I just think that's gonna be really nice to paint. It's gonna be really satisfying when it's done. Um, so yes, nice features. The mirror looks good. How in the hell am I gonna paint the mirror? Don't know yet. Um, but really nice, like really, really nice fine detail actually around the mirror. Again, I'll try and get this to focus. Um, if I turn that, and I'm going to bring it closer and it will definitely fail to focus. Um, but yes, happy. Happy with the minis and I think they'll be fun to paint. Uh, I'm not seeing too many mould lines or anything like that on them. They're there but they're not um, too raised from the arms or from the shoulders. Like you can see that they're there, but it's almost like they're a little bit pre-sanded or something. I don't imagine they are, but they, yeah, they're not prominent. They don't stick out. They're not proud is the word I'm failing to find. There is actually another tray of 
More baddies. So this seems to be just a tray of minions and doors. <laughs> so many doors. Okay, I'm going to slide this back under the camera. All of the doors. Um, it's it's so many doors. That's all I can say about it. You got your gargoyles and your, your piggy fellas. Everything looks good. Perhaps I can, when I'm not doing video, if anyone wants to see any particular minis, I could try and get some closer up shots that are more in focus and a little bit, you know, better for seeing the detail and that kind of thing. Is that sitting in the right? Let's hope so. Right, all that can go back on there. That's it. Core game done. Now I don't mock me. I'm gonna to need to make sure the lid has gone on the right way. It has. Everyone can calm down. Where are you gonna go? Okay. Oosh. I reckon I'll do stretch goals, because I need to check whether Ark Inspire is all campaign because I probably regard opening it as slightly spoilery for people in that regard. So Ow. Self inflicted injury. Well, basically a good metaphor for Kickstarter, isn't it? Okay, goodbye plastic. All right, stretch goals box. What is on the back of this? Huh, just a nice piece of art. I really can't remember what's in this, whether there are like multiple additional villains with their extra decks or it's just a bunch of minis or I think it's content content. This game doesn't really have minis for the sake of minis. Anything that has a mini has is attached to a villain and that sort of thing, I think. So, okay, we've got an expansion contents list. So we could just go down that and see what's on here. Um, a game board, five altar dice, so a little more, 135 minis. So it's got five heroes, so five more characters, five more villains, 32 traps, four allies, four rivals, four more features, which are the things that, like the pieces of furniture and stuff that pop up. Um, in the rooms, three altars, and I don't, they are, altars are functional. I mean, I think, I would guess maybe there's one altar in the core box, and you just have different cards which give them different functions, but I believe these three altars um, are mini representations of the different altars. Um, it may be that they also have different functional altar cards as well. It's got three altar cards in here, so it might be that they're completely different altar cards. I'm sure somebody else will know who's smarter than me. So first thing on here is a separate game board, which I did mention, but, wow, okay. So I don't know whether this is gonna be functionally different or it's just a little piece of flavor. It's the sort of non-hero questy colored version. It's a bit more grim dark than the uh, really colorful board in the, oh God. I'm trying to destroy it, honestly. I'm gonna put that down so that I can move the box out of the way. And try and get a shot on this camera here. Now I've got to open it again and probably fail opening. So this is only open two thirds so I can fit it in front of me. So in terms of art style, you'll get it. It's um, pretty similar all the way over so you'll get the rough idea of how this looks. Um, what I don't know is whether it's the exact same shape and layout of every room, just done in different art, or it actually is a different play space that would make it would slightly alter the randomization involved in the game. Don't know. I should probably find out, shouldn't I? I can't do it. I can't I can't get the game board out of that box. It'll crush me. So didn't have to do that again, I'll put it away. So yes, separate game board. And see I've already screwed it up. This is the hardest part of the game for me. I right, leave that there. So, how about I slide this mini's tray 
under the camera. So you get a rough view of what's in here. So you got more features and altars. That is the fire elemental or fire demon, I think. Um, obviously that's in clear plastic. And there's a little bit more, um, is the word dynamic overused when describing minis, but the, the posing of these extra characters that are in here seems to be a little bit more exaggerated, which I like in minis personally. I like them to look like they're moving and have a fair amount of character um, in the pose as well as the actual design. Um, yeah. Some more mini fellas in there. And this second tray... Oh god, there is a third tray underneath. This second tray seems to be all just... Uh, what are they called? They're not called sidekicks. What are they? I probably just read the word. Just baddies, aren't they? Minions. That is obviously the word. That's always the word in these sorts of games. Um, I may be slightly out of focus for you there. Apologies. I'll try and focus. Um, so yeah, werewolves. Ladies with crossbows, which potentially are allies, not minions. Birdie boys. The usual? Probably not the usual. Um, but interesting. Oh, this third tray is the entire width of the box, so I have to pull this organizer-y, divider -y thing out first, so I might as well show you. This is just more decks for different villains and minions, etc. etc. I don't know why these guys are separate. It might just be a fitting in the box thing. Maybe they're replacement pieces for what would otherwise be tokens or something like that. Oh yeah, that's what that's the difference. Um, the stretch goal version of the elemental dice is sort of black. I don't know if you can see it. Black marbly looking. It's not just pure black. Um, and obviously the elements are painted a different colour each for each type. So that they will definitely be the ones that I end up playing with. Um, I like to see things really quickly in colour. Dividers for organising stuff. I don't remember whether there were dividers in the main box or it's just a stretch goal thing to have dividers for the whole game. So yeah, different characters and their decks in here. And I imagine that there are probably already people out there um, doing lists of cards and pictures of cards, but if anyone wants to see a specific card then let me know. I can always pull it out. All right, this is the full width, as in takes up the space of the full base of the box size of Minnie's tray. And they're all little dinky fellas. As you can see there, we've got Johnny Ratman and um, Bow Guy. Humphrey Bow Guy. Uh, can we see... That might actually be focusing. Wow, what a setup. The really irritating part of this setup is I have tripods and cameras and all that sort of stuff and proper radio lav mics and I've left them all at work. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so if anyone wants to see any particular minis, let me know. What I might do is, as I start to base coat them, because I like to do zenithal priming, what I might do is start taking pictures when they're zenithal prime so you can really see the detail in photos because it obviously makes them stand out a lot better for the purpose of photos. It's really hard to see mini pictures when it's just a, a phone snap usually. Um, so I think that might be it. I'm not going to open Ark Inspire. Um, the first four is just four new characters with their decks. Um, so in terms of an unboxing, you wouldn't see tons if I were to open that. I'm going to start pulling this apart and maybe have a play of it. Probably not on camera, I'll be honest. But maybe one day. Alright, cool. Thank you for whoever stuck this out for the entire time. I didn't really expect anyone to. Um, but yeah, people wanted to see it, and now you've seen a lot of it badly shot and badly framed. Good job.